your Centria comes with a wide variety of attachments for added versatility. In this section, we'll discuss removing the power nozzle to convert to a canister cleaner, using the duster brush, the upholstery nozzle, extension tubes, the suction control grip, the wall and ceiling brush, the crevice tool, the surface nozzle. We'll also cover using your Centria as a blower unit using the portable sprayer and portable shampooer. When using different attachments, the attachment hose is connected to the front of the cleaner in place of the power nozzle. The attachment hose may be used in either the upright or portable configuration. To install the attachment hose, raise the nozzle. Place the tech drive in neutral and turn the power off. Unplug the Centria from the wall outlet. Raise the headlight hood and turn the belt lifter to the left or counterclockwise until it stops and the red arrows line up. Release the power nozzle and lift it off the Centria. In normal operation, friction between the belt and metal motor shaft may cause the metal motor shaft to be extremely hot to the touch. At the connector end of the attachment hose, you will notice two hooks. Hook the hose end over the attaching bar, then lock in place by turning the accessory lock clockwise all the way to the right. Lower the headlight hood. With the attachment hose in place, the Centria will automatically adjust to high-speed hose operation. To attach tools to the hose, push lightly while twisting the tool onto the hose. The duster brush may be connected to the attachment hose or the extension tubes to remove dust from any surface, including contoured or irregular surfaces. The upholstery nozzle is used for cleaning upholstered furniture, carpeted steps, clothing, and the inside of cars. One or two extension tubes can be attached to the end of the hose to extend your reach and efficiently use various attachments. The suction control grip features a valve to control the amount of suction. Simply slide the valve control back and forth until the desired level of suction is reached. The suction control grip can also be used with the attachment hose between the extension tubes or it can easily be moved to the end of the tubes giving your brush attachments a different angle with which to clean. Attach the wall and ceiling brush to the suction control grip. To clean walls, ceilings and other hard to reach surfaces. By rotating the brush you can clean hard to reach places like ceilings. The crevice tool with a removable brush cleans dirt from tight places and carpet edges. Remove the brush and the crevice tool can be used for cleaning cracks, crevices, corners, grooves and narrow openings. The surface nozzle may be used on bare floors or for surface cleaning carpets and under low furniture. Rubber wheels on the nozzle allow it to glide smoothly on the surface of hard floors without scratching. Your Centria can also be used as a blower in either the upright or portable configuration. Raise the power nozzle Place the tech drive in neutral and turn the power off. Unplug the Centria from the wall outlet. Raise the headlight hood and turn the belt lifter to the left or counterclockwise until the red arrows line up. Unlock the power nozzle and remove it from the Centria. Then fasten the air intake guard onto the attaching bar and lock it in place by turning the accessory bar all the way to the right or clockwise. Lower the headlight hood. Remove the mini mTOR and release the top of the bag assembly. To attach the blower hose, line up the indicator line on the large end of the hose with the indicator line on the metal exhaust port. Twist the hose connector to the right to lock in place. By attaching the inflator-deflator tool to the attachment hose, you can inflate toys, air mattresses, or other similar low-pressure inflatable items. To deflate items, take the blower hose off the Centria, clip the bag into place, and attach the mini emptor. Lift the headlight hood, remove the air intake guard, and connect the attachment hose to the front of the Centria. You may now use your Centria to deflate items. The portable sprayer is used only in the blower mode. It is an excellent tool to apply many different types of water-based liquids to any type of surface. Never use oil or solvent-based paint of any kind in the portable sprayer. 
The motor is open to the spray and could ignite flammable and volatile paint solvents. To set up the portable sprayer, unscrew the jar and fill three-quarter full with any non-flammable liquid. If the sprayer must be tilted during use, less solution should be used to avoid large droplets in the spray. Screw the jar and portable sprayer tightly together. Make sure your Centria is set up as a blower unit. The air intake guard should be on the front of the unit and the attachment hose should be connected to the exhaust port. Connect the sprayer to the attachment hose. Turn the Centria on and squeeze the trigger, spraying non-flammable solution with the nozzle pointed away from you, adjusting the spray by turning the spray adjustment control on the trigger. Always squeeze the trigger fully to permit maximum flow and spray control. Immediately after use, empty the jar and wash with warm water. The portable sprayer dip tube should also be removed and washed. Remove the nozzle jet by pressing the two latches on the front and pulling it out. Now clean the inside of the sprayer and nozzle jet. When dry, return the nozzle jet to the front of the sprayer. Reassemble the rest of the sprayer so none of the parts will be lost. Never clean portable sprayer with flammable cleaning fluids. The motor is open to the spray and could ignite flammable and volatile solvents. The portable shampooer is also used in the blower mode only and is designed for fast, easy cleaning of carpeted stairways and areas that are difficult to reach with the carpet shampoo system. The portable shampooer is not recommended for use on upholstery or delicate fabrics such as silk, brocade, or velvet. If in doubt, try a test patch. Let the patch dry and check it before you shampoo further. To set up the portable shampooer, attach the shampooer cap to the end of the portable sprayer. Fill the jar with water to the water line. Then add Kirby carpet shampoo to the shampoo line. Use only Kirby carpet shampoo for best results. Screw the jar and portable sprayer tightly together. Connect the sprayer to the attachment hose and make certain your Centria is set up as a blower. The attachment hose should be connected to the air exhaust port and the air intake guard should be installed on the front of the unit. Turn the Centria on and pull the trigger to spray suds onto the surface being cleaned. Adjust the portable sprayer for proper suds volume by turning the spray adjustment control located on the trigger. Work suds into the surface until they disappear. Allow the surface to dry completely and vacuum to remove the dry residue which contains debris and loosened dirt. To purchase additional Kirby carpet shampoo, contact your local Kirby distributor or if distance or convenience is a factor, simply call Kirby.